In life, it's hard to know when enough is enough. The same, of course, can be said for the world celebrity. For some celebs, packing it in is unthinkable, even though more than a few fans wonder why some semi-famous faces don't just fade away. Here are a few of those washed-up stars who need to stop trying so hard. Hilary Duff because she hasn't done much besides grocery shopping in recent years, Hilary Duff has been rumored to call the paparazzi on herself when she's running errands. Her attempt at a musical comeback flopped, with the best of her last three singles topping out at number 79 on the Billboard Hot 100. Her album Breathe In, Breathe Out fared somewhat better, peaking at number 5 but never made any radio impact. Duff signed a management deal with Scooter Braun in August 2016, which means she can either have an Ariana Grande-like return to fame or she can strongly consider keeping her day job on the show younger, because Braun's track record for keeping stars on top is but here's my number, so call me maybe. pretty awful. Nick Cannon Sure, Wild and Out is fun, but it never made Nick Cannon a legitimate star. Neither did Drumline. After marrying Mariah Carey in 2008, his stock shot up, nabbing him the hosting gig for America's Got Talent in 2009. Let's just jump past the irony inherent in him landing that job. See that? That's lusciousness right there. Man. But since his divorce from Mimi, he's made waves for racially insensitive album promotions and dishing on his sex life with his ex-wife against her wishes. In 2015, Carrie dropped a diss track about Cannon called Infinity, which describes Cannon as lonely and poor, which may be why TMZ claims he's stalling on their divorce proceedings. Aubrey O'Day Another failed Diddy protege, Aubrey O'Day gained notoriety in 2004 for her appearance on Making the Band 3, in which she joined Danny D. Kane. She was fired from the group in 2008 for allegedly trying to use the band to catapult herself into failed solo stardom. O'Day dabbled in music but has done mostly reality TV, including her 2011 single-season star vehicle All About Aubrey, The Celebrity Apprentice, in 2012, where she was fired again and had a huge fight with Arsenio Hall. I googled her and a naked picture of her with a gut popped up. F her. F her. And a celebrity Big Brother stint in 2016, which may or may not chronicle the end of her relationship with Jersey Shore star Polly D and, coincidentally, the last time anyone cared about her. Ashley Green After Twilight, Ashley Green just couldn't seem to escape Alice Cullen. In 2012, she starred in The Apparition, but the movie was a critical and commercial bomb, returning less than a third of its budget at the box office. It was a pattern for her. CBGB made back about a tenth of its $5 million budget. Her television work hasn't fared well either, with Pan Am only lasting one season. Vampires may live forever, but Green's career is pretty much dead. Camila Bell As the sort of old Hollywood beauty that's rare in the age of Instagram sensations, Camila Bell is a bit of a mystery that no one seems to want to solve. Her acting resume is full of things no one has ever heard of, and she suffered some severe shaming at the hands of a venomous Taylor Swift song called Better Than Revenge after dating Swift's ex, Joe Jonas. Bell still shows up to fashion shows and events, and the brunette stunner has acting gigs lined up through 2016. But will anyone be around to watch them? Diana Agron Because of her allegedly terrible relationship with Ryan Murphy, Diana Agron was hardly utilized on Murphy's show Glee and excluded from the Cory Monteith tribute episode. Agron's attempts at big screen stardom fell flat also. I Am Number 4 from 2011 was a critical flop, and since leaving Glee, Agron's most publicized role has been in Sam Smith's I'm Not the Only One music video. Maybe it's time to enjoy her engagement to her Mumford & Sons fiancé and quietly retire. Nicole Scherzinger The Pussycat Dolls broke up for good in 2010, and since then, frontwoman Nicole Scherzinger has made several efforts to break out into solo stardom, but they've fallen flat. Her July 2011 single with 50 Cent, Right There, peaked at number 39 on the Billboard Hot 100, but in the six years that she's been trying, Scherzinger hasn't been able to release an actual album in the United States. Knowing that her U.S. album may never actually drop, Scherzinger's backup plans have landed her as a judge on X Factor in the U.K. again, despite being the most reviled judge on the show during its stateside tenure. Olivia Culpo As Miss Universe 2012, she's gorgeous, but what else does Olivia Culpo actually do? Her only mainstream relevance outside of pageantry was dating Nick Jonas, and that's over. Culpo is still all over the place on red carpets and seems to be trying to jumpstart an acting career with a brief appearance in The Other Woman and American Satan, which stars huge names like Drake Bell. Remember him? 
Lindsay Lohan Despite tons of second chances following her multiple arrests and her reputation for lack of professionalism, Lindsay Lohan should probably just walk away quietly. Her most recent feature film was the independent critical flop The Canyons, but the New York Times reports she was almost fired multiple times for failing to show up to set and being difficult. Charlie Sheen helped her nab a role in Scary Movie 5, then she refused their scripted kiss. Oprah Winfrey attempted to help Lohan get back on her feet with her own miniseries on the Oprah Winfrey Network, during which Lohan often refused to film and supposedly talked back to Winfrey several times. Lately, Lohan's headlines revolve around lying about pregnancies, maybe being engaged to a controversial Russian rich guy, and making outrageous demands to appear on a Russian TV show. Girl, enough! Ashley Simpson She used nepotism to her advantage, riding the coattails of big sister Jessica Simpson into fame, then dissing the entire process in her song Shadow. Then she got busted lip-syncing on live television, then got booed when she made a screechy attempt to actually sing live again. Still, she soldiered on, getting a nose job the very same week she appeared on the cover of Marie Claire telling women to embrace their flaws. Ashley hasn't had any singles chart since 2006, and the New York Daily News reports that when she and new husband Evan Ross attempted to sell photos of their wedding in 2014, no one really wanted to pay for them. Unless maybe big sis Jessica was in them too. Ouch. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which X stars you think should stop trying so hard.